All right, if you fishermen or anything like me, you've probably always wondered if a bass will eat a snake. Well, Lunker Hunt has answered that question for us. They have created two patterns on their latest lure, the Lunker Hunt Link, that are one of them is a grass snake and the other is a water snake. And if you're familiar with places like I fish in Alabama, that looks, I mean, identical to some of the water moccasins we have, and that's just like the grass snakes. So here in just a second, I'm going to roll some clips and show you how a bass will absolutely destroy a snake that's swimming across the water. But make sure you stay tuned to the end of this video, and I'm going to show you. they got some really cool patterns on both of these. They've got different sizes, and there's also two different ways to fish these. So first, we're going to roll the clips, and then we'll come back and teach you a little bit about how to fish these lures. Ooh. Nice. Hit it twice. Hold him up if you can. Okay, snake. Alright. It's a chunk. On the link. Whipper snapper. Oh, there he is. The snake strikes again. Let's pull it out of your way. Summertime snaking. All right, now we're going to talk a little bit more about the two types of baits and the two different sizes. So start off, this is a four and a half inch, and then this is a 6.75 inch. So we were using the bigger size, and we were using this grass snake color. But the big part is there's two different types of retrieves that you can use, and I've got the left side set up for more what I call a straight retrieve and a snake swimming through the water look. And this is more for the shad patterns and like a flea and bait fish style technique. So we'll start off with the technique we were using, and basically you're going to fish it just like you would a spook. You cast it out, and you give a good steady retrieve, but you continue to twitch that rod tip, and that'll make it swim through the water just like a snake. Alright, the cool thing about this lure is the shad patterns, I like to throw it out, let it sit there for a second, and then just give it a couple of twitches, and the hinge that's in this bait will make the front lure go one way and the back lure go a different direction, and it makes it look like two separate fleeing bait fish, and that'll really drive the fish crazy. Now, we were able to get these lures last summer around ICAST and give them a test run, but I've already seen enough to say that they're going to catch fish for us, and it's a different style lure and a little bit different presentation that a lot of these fish haven't seen but I love the snake patterns. But they are available for sale right now at our shop, Bama Frog, so you can go check them out there. And I'm also considering doing a contest with these two snake patterns. So if that's something you're interested in, leave a comment below. I'm thinking about possibly doing either the coolest topwater shot or maybe the biggest bass caught on them and then giving away some awards and prizes and stuff like that. So if that's something you're interested in seeing, leave a comment below, give this video a thumbs up, you gotta love a snake bite, who doesn't? And thumbs up for the bass blowing it up out of the water. See you guys next time.